Happy back to Hogwarts Day and Weekend. I couldn't be more excited to have new content for Hogwarts Legacy. I didn't get to watch it live because I was at work, but this will be my genuine live reaction to watching the trailer for the first time. Let's get right into it and talk nerdy. I heard is an upcoming open world and saw some spoilers set in the that it was wizarding world. It's filled with immersive um, common rooms. Puts players at the so we'll see. Of their own adventure while attending Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Looks players like they're doing a quick recap right now a dangerous journey for people who haven't seen it of the or know much content about it. Because the, adventure, they will grow their back to Hogwarts Day is more than spells, just Hogwarts potions, Legacy. It's everything magical plants as they face in the Wizarding World. Enemies. Players will also encounter quests and scenarios that will pose difficult choices and determine what they stand for. What would Back to Hogwarts be without the iconic castle itself? Hey, the Chandler. Hogwarts castle in Hogwarts Legacy is enormous. Can we just appreciate that this game looks stunning? Filled with magic, life, and secrets. All of this content that we've seen so far. The Avalanche team are authentic fans and have taken more than a few words, passages, and pages from J.K. Rowling's stories to ensure there are surprising details to discover. From the tapestry yep. of Wendell and the Weird to the trophy room and many more references, I'm not going to spoil here. When playing, I frequently find Where's myself the content, Chandler? Lost, aimlessly wandering the halls a flying of Hogwarts book up there and curious what I'll discover next. To celebrate back to Hogwarts, we've brought a fresh look at a few iconic locations okay. within the castle. Being as I'm a Slytherin, let's start with the secret entrance to our common room, hidden behind the slithering arch of a stone serpent. Oh! A dark yet warm dungeon located deep within Hogwarts. Okay. It's the less Slytherin green. The common room windows look out onto the Black Lake's murky depths. Just don't Ooh, that's pretty. Next, we'll head to the portrait of the fat lady, behind which sits the okay. common room of House Gryffindor. That's also pretty. Set Look at one this. Of the tallest towers of Hogwarts. The we player wanted up there. to keep the lavish Gryffindor common room iconic to what fans are familiar with, but with specific features like the entrance tunnel described in the books. Oh, Those nice, nice. The entrance tunnel. One of Hogwarts other tallest towers, speaking the answer to a riddle and enter the Ravenclaw common room. Ravenclaw's so riddles confirmed. And creativity, music and the arts is reflected throughout the brightly lit space, adorned with this is stunning. wood and this, stone. This common room is stunning. And last, but certainly not least, we'll go down past the kitchens to the not often seen Hufflepuff mm. common room. Perhaps the ah, I don't like the, the yellow still. The skylight allows it's less yellow, but still yellow. To down into the Hufflepuff's burrow-like space to maintain a balance of bright earthiness. While Hogwarts may be huge on its own, Hogwarts Legacy will take players on an open world journey beyond the castle walls. We've seen all of this. But that doesn't mean there aren't more references and familiar places to discover. From Hogsmeade Village to the Forbidden Forest and even areas beyond the Black Lake, there's plenty to explore. Beyond and the Black Lake. it's not just by chance we're near Hagrid's Magical Creatures motorbike adventure. I need to go to this. The Avalanche team looked to all corners of the Wizarding World for inspiration, including Oh, that's in game. One of Hogwarts Legacy's okay. side quests will take you to Look these castle that. ruins, and there are many more references like it for astute fans Ooh, there's to something pick up right on down there. The game, which is rich in detail. Those are mer people. And that's not all we have to show. We have one more big announcement. Hogwarts Legacy is being developed for Wizarding World fans, and I'm excited to announce that we've created a special way to bring your fandom into the game and receive some cool extras to represent your house. Players can link their Harry Potter fan club account with wow. their Games account to import their house and wand into Hogwarts Legacy. Based on your How Harry much more Potter is fan left? club sorting and wand okay. quizzes, you can bring your authentic self into the game. Wow. Linking your accounts will also unlock a beat no Patronus, mask though. and exclusive house fanatic robes in game. Oh, those are pretty. A special set of house themed robes so you can represent your house with style. This is all available starting today in celebration oh, of Back to okay. Hogwarts. Head to wizardingworld.com slash legacy connect to connect your account and get these special items I'll have in to do that Legacy then. when it releases. It's been a pleasure being part of the Back to Hogwarts celebration and sharing more about Hogwarts Legacy. From everyone at Avalanche Software and Portkey Games, I need to pause it at the end here to bring you the game. So, a couple takeaways. The Hufflepuff common room is still yellow and don't love it. Ravenclaw still looks the best. There's no Patronus when you link it. Other than that, I'm going to have to watch the trailer a couple more times and I'll probably have a quick breakdown video up either today or tomorrow. I like the content that they showed. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. What did you think about this trailer? What did you think about the whole Back to Hogwarts experience? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.